Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Food Lover Asian, and today I'm here in SeaTac International Airport. Well, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use public transportation. You can use Uber, taxi, or shuttle. And the easiest way is using the Link Light Rail from here to downtown Seattle. And also for the bonus, if you watch until the end, it'll be, I'll show you how easy to get to hotels and to some of the activities like Park Place Market and some sort. So why don't you sit back and relax and watch this video until the end. Oh, also, if you have not, please subscribe to my channel. Give me also click the like button down below. Well, let's get going. Let's get out of here. Let's go. So for most of the domestic flights, when you come out of the gate, this is the first thing you will see right off the door. Then you will see this sign and escalator to go down, basically to the baggage claim areas. All the way down to where you can find all access to all the public's transportation. You have few options on how you want to spend your money to get to downtown Seattle. And let me show you how your options are. So when you get down to this level, which is floor number three, these are the options for you. Option one, taking taxi or ride shares, AKA Uber. For this point, you need to take the elevator in front of you up to the fourth floor to cross the sky bridge. All the way to the end, and then you will see this big sign, then turn to the left until you see the escalator to go down. Just follow the steps down and you will see this sign. Once you get down, you will see this big board with all the signs on where to go to get your choices. To your left, you will find the option to get taxis. And they have a flat rate if you just want to go to downtown. Or you can just use the meters as well. And they are usually available and affordable. But you can always ask for the rate and prices first before getting them. And if you have decided not wanting taxis, then your other option to walk to the right and follow this sign and get to the right shares area where you can find your rights and wait at the waiting areas. Look at these crowds. Yeah, it is not a pretty scene. Look at this and it can get messy, I would say, taking a while to get your rights to arrive. And if in case you are lost and get confused, there's always these great humans that are available here to assist you with all kinds of information you need. Well, say hello to them. Hello, everyone. So that's that. And moving along, I would like to show you option number two, which is taking the link light rail. And just like from the beginning, when you get down from the escalator to the third floor, you need to turn to the left and follow this route. Mind you, right now it is 2024 and the airport is having a big renovation. So just ignore all these commotions and keep walking and you will see baggage claim number 13 and just keep walking on this hallway. And on the way, the lost and found office will be on your right hand side in case you lost or left your belonging and need to claim them. And also, if you need to stop and charge your equipment before leaving the airport, this is the place for you. Sometimes I even forgot my power bank charger when traveling. And then we will keep walking and walking and walking and turning to the right. Then, just in case when you see this sign, stop. You have the option. Either turn to your right, then that is the pickup place for the car rentals. It is on the way, the same location when you need to get your car rental shuttle. And if you don't need the car rentals, and if you still want to use the link light rail, we will need to turn to your left and keep walking until you see this American Air office and reach to the end of the hallway, boom, you will see this escalator. We will need to go up to the floor number four 
and get to the sky bridge number six. And when the sky bridge door open, you will see this big sign up above for the link light rail. And the airport offers a free shuttle from this terminal to the link light rail station if you're too lazy like me sometimes to walk with your luggages. And it operates daily and it's very super convenient too. And here we go guys, are we ready? Are we ready with our journey? Well then, you need to turn to your left to find the main entrance to the walkway to the station. And this is it. Well, it will quite a walk, but the good thing is the pathway is covered and well lit. You will not get wet considering Seattle weather that rains so much and maybe all the time. The distance to the station is about 950 feet or 316 yards. And it's about eight to 10 minutes walk, depending on how fast you walk. So that's why the airport provides the shuttle service to the station. And we are finally here at the station. When you stand right up here, first thing first, you need to get your train tickets to purchase. The ticket machines are located on both sides, but I always prefer the right side. You just need to turn to your right and you will see this ticket machine behind this big pole. You have many options to get depending on how long you need to use the train for. First, you need to choose your destination. And in this video, I would like to show you how to get to downtown Seattle. Then we need to choose the destination as Westlake. You can choose either one way or round trip. I always get one way and it is currently at the rate of $3 per person. You can pay with any types of credit cards or you can get the Orca cards or with coins or cash as well if you have any available. There is a reduced fare for seniors, but you need the permit for that. And also, if you're under 18 years old, you will ride for free just to make sure you have your identification and passport ready just in case that train security or police come and check on you. And once you are done buying your tickets, you need to turn to your right to get to this way to the elevator up to the station. And in case you cannot walk too much or you need some wheelchair access, then you need this elevator to go up. And if you don't need it, then otherwise, let's get going to the top to get to our train. Once you are here, you need to turn to the right and find this sign for Seattle and Northgate. And then wait until the train comes. And I am here right now inside the train. It is pretty clean and comfortable. There's also space here where you can put your bike at. There are usually plenty of seats around. So it is about 12 stops to get to Westlake downtown Seattle. It's about 45 to 50 minutes ride usually. And in the meanwhile, you can just rest up and relax while listening to your music or talking to your friends. And the views, also usually fantastic from here. And sometimes in the clear day like this, you could see the Mount Rainier up close. Once you arrive at the Westlake station, you will be in the basement and underground. So just to follow this path and go up to the exit, there will be escalators to follow. And there will be signs everywhere for you to follow to the exit. And when you are at this point, you will see the big, huge Nordstrom store sign and you will need to keep walking to the right and follow this way until you see these escalators. Yeah, yes, I know it's too many escalators to follow, but I guarantee you, you are almost there. The terminal is too deep down there, but then voila, you are finally here and you are here at the main entrance at the Westlake station right now. So you are basically arrived here, but I want to throw you some bonus information on how to reach out to your final destinations. Option one, to the hotels. 
And when you stand at this point, you would want to turn to your left and keep walking until you stand here at the between Sixth Avenue and Pine Street. Look at this, a block away from you, you will see Grand Hyatt Hotel and Hotel Theodore. And then if you turn to your left and keep walking, you will see the Nordstrom store on your left and keep walking until you see this intersection. And on your left, a block away, you will see the Western Hotel. And if you turn to your right and keep walking across the street about a block away or so, you will see the Grand Hyatt Regency Hotel on your left side and Olive 8 Hotel on your right side. Option two, to the monorail station or to go to Space Needle and what they call Seattle Center for all the tourist attractions. And if you are at that Westlake station exit, you would want to turn to your right and follow this path. Keep walking until you see this Westlake Center Mall building. Option 3, Pike Place Market or Seattle Waterfront, which is one of the most popular tourist attraction here in Seattle. And some of you may be interested to know how to get there. So the easiest way, once you get out of the Westlake Center Mall, follow this path and you will be there within a few blocks away. Well guys, that's a wrap. That's the video for today. Well, welcome to Seattle. And now you have the option, you know how to get using Uber, taxi, or the light rail. What do you think? Well, please leave the comment down below. Also, if you have not, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a quick like down below here. And until the next video, thank you very much again for watching this video. Sampai jumpa lagi. Thank you. Bye.